G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to get pretty much any ship that you want within reason, of course. Uh, this is just a little trick that uh, someone on Reddit pointed out and I will give them credit towards the end of the video. I uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. But um, essentially what you do is you, when you land in on your spacecraft and you exit the spacecraft, if you see a ship landing in the in the distance, you in theory should be able to uh, check it out if it's not what you want then just reload the save that you had and do it over and over so we're going to test that theory right now uh, just for the sake of showing you my uh, I think the main thing is piloting I'm at level 3 at the moment so and my level as far as is only 18 so we'll see if that makes a difference or not and uh, but this is the ship that's come we are over here uh, we just landed over there and we saw a ship landing here so we're going to go check it out and see if this theory is correct now we're not going to be attacking any civilian ships it's only going to be pirates spaces etc because uh, i don't want a bounty on my head but uh, this ship isn't terribly big so we'll see this is the first ship and we'll just see we go there is uh no one in the area so we can't really tell at this stage whether or not it is going to be friendly or not so the only way to find out is really just to go on board and see who's in here Board green. Ready for what comes next. okay so no alarms so I'm guessing just a civilian ship uh, yeah we just got a, a captain in here pretty plain ship um, not what I was hoping for so we are just gonna re-roll and reload and not bother with this one just yet so um, yeah stay tuned we'll reload and see what the next one brings us Hey guys, we've uh, reloaded, and as you can see, we do have a different ship here. Um, we have some crew on the ground. I'm not sure friendly or not at this distance, but uh, we're just going to run in, and I will skip to the end where we've taken the ship just to speed this up, because we're going to do a few of these ships just to see what we can get. So um, yeah, we'll stay tuned, and we'll see what we can get at the end of this one. Okay, guys, we did the re-roll, and this is the ship that we got that time. Unfortunately, these guys are colonists and this looks like a uh, trading ship of some description lots of um, you know, cargo not the ship that we were looking for so we're looking for something you know, a little bit different or bigger hopefully a battleship so we're looking for pirates or something like that so we're going to re-roll again and see how we go do bear in mind uh, if you do re-roll and you don't see the ship land just check the landing spot if you know where it is uh, the ships can be already there um, and again too they can not appear at all so if you don't see them at the landing space or they don't fly in just reload the re-roll and see what happens and um, yeah that's pretty much what we'll do so we're just going to go to the next one and see what we can find on the next one okay we've just reloaded and we've got another spaceship that's just landed uh, it's, it's a small craft it's not too big we'll just go in and have a look and see whether this is friendly or not any way to find out if there's nothing on the outside um, These locations okay it is freestar and the alarm didn't go off so looks like the system crew in here so what we'll do is we'll reload again and see how we go okay guys we got another ship to spawn into the location uh, we had a couple that were civilian ones in a row so i didn't bother putting them in but I, a good indication of whether they may or may not be friendly is these guys are holding guns so this may be a ship that's uh, worth having a look at it isn't terribly big but uh, we'll just see what happens just to show uh, that there are different sh ships so I will skip through all the killing and take you straight to the end. Okay, I've taken over the ship. It was relatively easy. This was just a two-man ship. As you can see, it is uh, just an A. It's not got any ballistic weapons. It's quite low spec compared to the one I've got. But it just goes to show you that um, different, you know, ships will appear here. So I will um, reload again and see how we go. And hopefully we'll have better luck on the next reroll. Okay, guys, we've just had another ship. Um, this one is uh, another civilian ship by the looks. So I'm getting a lot of civilian ships on this particular location, but it does prove that the re-roll does work. So if you are willing to keep going and re-rolling, I'm going to test one other theory that I may have. Uh, as I said, this particular moon that I'm on, I find moons do spawn the ships a lot more because there's not much else on the moon. So activity-wise, I think ships tend to spawn more there. Now this is a level 25 
area um, as you can see the top up here so I'm going to see if I can get to a higher level moon and try my luck there and we'll see what those kind of results bring as well so uh, try moons and uh, although I did find my ship um, on let's have a look here when I was only level one so uh, my ship is uh, I've made some really ugly modifications <laughs> like storage uh, but this particular ship here um, is quite large and I managed to find that. I have seen it one other time as well, and I didn't bother to keep it. So you can get this ship. I, I know you can get this ship, so keep looking for this one if you want. It's called Velarum or something. Um, I'm not sure why the name changed up here because it wasn't called that before I made the modifications. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna skip to a higher level moon and see how we go, so stay tuned for that. Okay guys, I have jumped to a different moon just to see whether the level of the moon makes a difference. I think this ship is slightly bigger than the ships I've been finding. So the moon I'm on currently is Jaffa 2. It's a level 30 moon, 35 I should say, sorry. So it's in the Jaffa area um, of the solar system. And yeah, so we're just going to see how this one turns out. I don't know if it's um, civilian or not. I can't see anybody down there i guess the only way to find out is just a board it does look a lot bigger so let's see how we go with this one i'm going to skip through all the killing again just to the end just to make it quick for the video uh, we'll see you at the other end okay so unfortunately this ship uh was a civilian ship and um yeah there's um i'll just quickly show you around but again i think i've seen this ship before it's um not terribly complex at all got a few bays about it really so um if you were wanting to get a bounty on your head i guess you could take this but in my opinion not worth taking civilian ships uh, so we'll see how we go on the next ship um, we'll reload this location and see how we go i'm not sure what level this one is but um i'm guessing it's a type a it's quite small so i will skip to the next one see you in a second okay guys we're back again uh it's just a different ship again as you can see uh there are uh, no nobody around yep nobody around and it is a supply station so i'm not sure whether that makes a difference but um it's probably going to be another civilian ship we will see what happens and uh we will skip to well it's saying uh advanced lock on this one so this is interesting so i'm going to um skip in a minute and i'll let you know how it all goes because this is going to take a little while to get through the lock and see what's on the inside okay never come across that before so essentially I just picked the lock it was an advanced lock if I remember um and there was nobody to kill at all so I just walked in and sat in the seat uh, as you can see it's just an A-class ship again and um, just has ballistic glazels no missiles so yeah it's probably not a ship if you're looking for one that you take because you would want to have all these three filled and um, so we'll skip this one and we will see if we can get something better on the next run Okay, we're back again and we have another completely different ship here um uh, so again no one on the outside the only way we're going to be able to tell is to go in and have a look if there's any action i will skip over it again just to make it quicker okay um uh, just to point out that um being on a level 30 moon the the encounters are a little bit harder so uh, that was um, a little bit harder of a fight, but not too hard. But you can see another A-class ship. At least this one has um, a variety of things through its systems. But again, um, nothing fantastic, to be honest, in this particular ship. So it's, yeah, cover capacity is only 450, so it's not very good for cutting things around. It, it's customizable, I guess. But um, yeah, we'll see. That one's the ecliptic bayonet. We'll see how we go and we'll run a couple of these. I, I will skip through any boring ones, but I'll see if I can find a good ship for you guys to have a look at. If not, I'll report back my findings. So give us a second. Okay, guys, uh, we're at another ship just to um, just see whether or not I've changed a few settings. I've moved my difficulty up to hard. So we'll just see if this makes any kind of difference at all. Okay, we're back. Uh, we took out a few uh, enemies and we've taken over this ship. But as you can see, um, it seems like the A-class ships is a variety of them. So I guess in conclusion, I haven't been able to find a way to get a ship that's outside of the A-class for one. And it does seem that there are a number of ships 
that it cycles through just at, um, in random. So yeah, try your luck with this method and see how you go. The very first ship that I got in my first video that where I stole a ship was probably the better of all of them that I've found so far. And it was quite customizable as well. So had plenty of space. So if you do find that ship, uh, the uh, Valor Rum or something, um, please uh, keep your eye out for that one. But yeah, guys, if this video was helpful in any way, uh, please hit that like button. If you've got any questions about what I did and or have any comments about what you may have seen or suggestions on how to get more ships to fall into this uh, rotation somehow, uh, that would be awesome. Um, if not, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again, guys.